In Cabinet Pro, building closets and garage cabinets or components is precisely the same as building kitchen, bedroom, or commercial cabinets or components. We simply start with a cabinet of some sort, add parts, subtract parts, and adjust the construction methods until we have the closet component we require. We then save it back to this cabinet library as a prototype for use in future jobs. In any given job, all we have to do is select the cabinet, alter its dimension, and place it into the current job. In this library, we have divided our cabinets into several categories of which closets is but one. If we were to view all of our categories at one time, we would see a mixture of residential, commercial, and closet cabinets. There are other videos in this demonstration series that show how a floor plan is made. You may want to view those videos to see more details on how cabinets are placed in a three-dimensional floor plan. The procedure shown in those videos is exactly the same for closet cabinets. Here we have a galley style closet system with cabinets on two opposing walls. We can dimension the floor plan to see precisely what we have placed and where we have placed them. But if we looked at the 3D view we would not be able to see the entire room even though we can rotate it to our liking. And the reason we can't of course is because the room is so small. A useful feature within Cabinet Pro is one where we can click any item of a given wall and then temporarily hide all cabinets on that wall along with the wall itself for better viewing of the cabinets we are interested in. Clicking the refresh button brings back the wall and the cabinets that we temporarily hid. We can view elevations of each of our walls as line drawings, dimension drawings where we have control over what information we want to see as well as how dimensions will be displayed, or finished drawings. Notice there are no backs on these cabinets. Backs are options on each cabinet that can be removed or not removed. We can create as many captions or labels as we want or use some pre-made captions and then place them anywhere on the drawing. And then convert the drawing into a PDF file and when we are finished, we can send our drawing to our customer as a PDF file via email. As a side note, we can place closet rods and shelves in virtually any position we wish on any cabinet with or without shelves above or below it. When we are ready to cut out the job, we simply access our reports to generate a full cut list in either millimeters or inches, panel optimization where we have a great deal of control over how our parts will be nested, and finally, CNC output in the language recognized by your router. This happens to be G-code. This is a CNC simulator where the code was just sent to, showing the drilling of holes and the making of data cuts. The angled lines that appear to be somewhat chaotic represent the travel of the spindle. Pricing a job is described in other videos that you may want to view as well. As you investigate our other demonstration videos, please keep in mind that closet cabinets are handled in the exact same way as residential cabinets shown in those demos.